Welcome to another episode on the Crystal Craft server. As always, I am MC Mining Caveman. So, I just hopped on and decided to uh, get a few things done that I've been putting off. Um, for one, uh, labeling what the heck is in my chest up here. Um, I had those placed for uh, drop party stuff, and here I put them in these new ones that I just placed the other day for a drop party. Um, it was a uh, prior uh, player that had been uh, kicked from the server for uh, breaking the rules. Let's see, do I? Nope. You know what, let me just go get an axe. Make this a little bit faster. So, um... Wow, no axe. <laughs> okay, so that must be all in my storage vault. So I'll just punch these away. Um, so, yeah, um... Did get some time on the server this week. Um, I was doing a groundwork for a project. Um, there's several projects in the work works actually for the team. Um, we are um, been traveling around looking for other players bases to raid. Um, we have um, the desire to do another Enderman farm, since we haven't done one since the server reset, when it turned to 1.7, and uh, the end was reset. Um, uh, you know what? I meant to write these things down so I could say what the what they were, but I can't seem to remember. So, all right. So this is cobble. Um, yeah, so I need a label. So, this was a project. This is all stone that I dug out. Um, I... Are these in... Okay, that's a uh, quick drops. Um, oh yeah, somebody was asking for quartz the other day. They wanted ten stacks of it, and since I don't use it, I was happy to sell it. Um, haven't collected really anything. That's a bunch of coal I silk touched at my mega project. Well, it's not a mega project. It's a good size one, but it's certainly by no means mega. Um, was enchanting a bunch of books and started sorting them. Um, I worked a little bit more on my god gear, so the only thing this is missing is Thorns 3, so I don't know if I'll be able to throw it on there or not. So, that's good. That needs Unbreaking 3, which actually I think I just got... Oh, it's an Unbreaking 2. That's why I didn't throw it on there. And then protection, so that needs thorns and unbreaking. But I also did some work on some of my other ones. I was going to make a, still slowly working on a top of the line god gear for each of the different types of armor in every material. So this is my regular prot, leather, gold iron, chain, and then diamond. So I was going to have fire, prot, and each of this stuff. So most of that stuff, uh, most of these other things come from the skelly drops at the old place. And um, as we, uh, there, we do have a new skelly spawner. It's not here in, in the HQ, it's off in the distance somewhere else. Um, out, actually closer 
quite a bit closer to spawn. Um, so we've been getting armor there, and uh, of course, this place I think is pretty full. Yeah, so prot only, and then all other stuff. So I should probably work on it some. Uh, somehow our carpets are disappearing. Don't don't know. Haven't really asked, but. Those those were missing. These were missing. These were all missing. They ended up being in the chest. Um, uh, ceiling, I've reworked it to make it circular. Um, that is part of the project I'm working on. In fact, I'm going to be working on this down here to reflect that. Um, just, just for a change, something to do. I need to build. Um, I'm actually not super satisfied with my house. I mean, it is more or less what I wanted, but it's, it's nothing special. So I want to find ways to, uh, to spruce it up, liven it up, make it more homely. I never had any actual ideas to finish this off. So I might might need to uh, do a bunch of messing around with, probably in my creative server, um, before I do anything here. Um, that I'm actually thinking about just completely removing this upper level and just basically make it that you more or less enter and the roof starts like right here so you actually walk in like on the attic level and then you go down and so, you know, it would shorten this by a third. Um, not quite half, but definitely a third. Um, oh, one project that did get finished. Um, was our... Good thing I have... Oh, I got plenty of signs. Oh, yeah. All my signs are in there. It is the... It is... Stone Swords... Museum... To... CCMC... Rare. Oh, rarities. So. So it's a, uh, it's a clay, uh, brick with a, uh, jungle wood, uh, ceiling. Quartz, obsidian, and packed ice. So we have our little shrine to our uh, team sword that uh, was given to us for being a long-standing team, which we've had at the old HQ for a while. I don't. It was uh, right by the uh, giant uh, sword icon, uh, pixel art. So. This is uh, drop party stuff that I've sorted. Um, these are all empty. Now we still have quite a bit of stuff out here that we th think belong to a drop party, but we can't remember exactly. So I was trying to go through some of my videos that didn't make it onto YouTube, seeing if I could 
find out what stuff went to what and um, didn't get very far with that and then on this side is a uh, collection series so like this was arena where I wasn't present for whenever that did happen but boy do we have a lot of it and then the pimpin set and the GOLD set medieval um, oh yeah we raided somebody who happened to have a Jedi kit and <laughs> several of the army kits so um, yeah and then this is everything that has yet to be sorted um, they they more than likely came from a drop party of some sort um, some of them were probably just collector series that went to something else and then swords that we got off of other people and so yeah slowly working on this but the structure is built uh, a general sorting has been made um, we got two cats that uh, we can do breeding with we got two horses to do breeding with um, let me see I haven't been up here in a while okay yeah this is still the same little uh, snipers nest for uh, PvP and uh, put in some blue glass so you can see to show off all the uh, redstone circuitry for the build um, so uh, team wise it's been very slow recently um, Ava and Shadow have uh, been busy with uh, other things. Uh, Chief has been busy with school. Um, haven't really heard from Gloomba or uh, Jensen of late. But uh, they are still around, still been doing stuff. Um, they're collecting resources. Um, I got a bunch of stone and dirt for a project. Um, have been sorting more of our temporary storage from where we had to dump everything before we moved here. So we've been doing, we have been doing stuff, nothing really uh, video, video quality stuff. But uh, I'll get uh, working on this and uh, maybe. Uh, Maybe uh, join me in a little bit, see what else I come up with to do. So, see you in a moment. Alright, so here it is. I have uh, made all this a uh, circular shape with a nice large flowing staircases. Now, these, uh, these are dark spots, but being this is half slabs, and uh, stairs mobs should not be able to spot on it and I was thinking what since this is a very unhealthy looking grass by uh, this well this is a faithful 32 texture pack but so the default colors is very unhealthy and I know that this looks more like turf uh, the, the green carpet but I think I would take it over the standard grass. So I'm just going to start placing carpet tiles everywhere around. Um, I have a lot of green dye, but I don't think I have enough wool to turn it all into carpet. So I will do what I have and... Uh, I think the next thing is working up on the ceiling, and um, I'll show you what that is in just a moment. 
Well, as expected, this uh, the green t carpet tiles that I had did not go very far, so I was only able to get all four sides three rows out. So that's going to take a that's going to take a lot of wool. So um, I guess I have string I could turn into wool, but I just need a. We have three white sheep and three green sheep. And I guess I could dye them and then collect what I need and then re-dye them back to their colors. So I might do that to speed up the process, but it's a low priority project for me. So let me get uh let me get the stuff I need and I'll pop up on the ceiling and uh show you what I'm up to. All right, here we are on top of the HQ, and ta-da! I spent, what was it, four days uh, digging this out with a, uh, with a beacon, and uh, went through four diamond pickaxes with efficiency five on them and unbreaking three. So yeah, it uh, <sighs> it was a big project, but it's going to look pretty cool what I have in mind for it. And so uh, these are the uh, piggy spawners, and I already started working on these. Um, I did this one to uh, count out all of the uh, water flow patterns, so I started mirroring the design onto these. And so we're going to have all four points, well, all four of them made out of glass and just naturally water flow here into the, uh, the water stops here. So it's this three by three grid. I'm going to have to uh, lower it another one so that the water flow pushes it in. And going to do another lava blade auto cooker, and we won't have to worry about it at all because I'm going to remove all the wool so that you can look just straight up and see see the moon and sun pass by every every rotation. So um, I need to get in here and place some water. Just a moment. All right, sorry about that. Okay, so I need to pop in here. Um, break that one, that one, that one. Water. And, nope, not there. There. All right, so they flow. Piggies get pushed. Drop down. Piggies get pushed. Blah, blah, blah. Yes. But I need to block this off so that they don't infest my working area. So those work. And so now I just need to do these two. And then we'll figure out a way to uh, get them all to uh, smoothly uh, flow into the cooker. Because still wanted to drop down at the uh, middle of the HQ. So let me get to work and uh, be back in just a moment. Well, there it is. Um, I still need to get the uh, lava blade put in there for them to get cooked, but there it is. We have a skylight in the HQ now. So I'll have to run it by the rest of the team, see if we want to keep it open. Uh, chances are we'll go ahead and just cap the top with dirt so that it's uh, hidden from people who might uh, try exploring by. Um, noticing the lighting is different. Oh, that one's mine, because that 
that had the tunnel that I used to get up there. So I need to fill in that uh, tunnel. But yeah, this is pretty cool looking. Um, let me see if I can actually jump up there. All right, come on. Is it going to? Yep, here it is. So, do, yes, still have glass, good. So this was a uh, marker for center point. Don't need that anymore. There. So, that's a... Uh, so, it's a snow, snow biome, taiga. And so it snows, but it does not uh, land on glass. So that's why we would have to put a layer of dirt if we wanted to hide this. But yeah, I uh, terraformed all this uh, surrounding land to uh, make this look more uh, natural. Because if I remember right, the hillside basically stopped... Well, yeah... It went from there to over here, so more than half of this was well above uh, the ground level da um, down there. So I did a bunch of uh, dirt placement and terraformed it, and need to get some more trees planted, just, uh, just a couple. Um, but yeah, this is... This is pretty nice looking. So I think I'll go ahead and wrap up the episode here. I will go ahead and work on uh, the pig hooker off camera. And uh, that project will be done. Um, I've got a few more uh, ideas, but I will definitely have to hop over to the my creative uh, world and uh, test those ideas out for that uh, center structure. Not, not the... Uh, pig channels, but the uh, unroofed uh, armory. So please uh, please like in my video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet, and uh, if this is your first episode of, to watch of mine, please go back and watch the uh, previous episodes at your uh, leisure. So thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.